All right, boys and girls. So we are now going to practice using the standard algorithm with some two-digit numbers, and we're going to multiply by other two-digit numbers. So the first numbers that I want to use in our practice today would be the number 78. So I'm going to go ahead and skip um, two lines. I'm going to write the number 1, and I'm going to put the number 78. And we're going to be multiplying that by the number 24. 24 is going to go right underneath, just like that. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to do a quick, easy estimate just to give me a ballpark idea of where this number should be when I get done. So I want to quickly think about when I um, the number 78, and rounding that to the nearest 10 would give me a number of 80. So I'm going to write 80 right here next to it. And when I think about the number 24, of course, it's closer to 20. So I'm going to write the number 20. And remember, this is supposed to be a quick and easy estimate. So one thing that can help me multiply quickly is just thinking about my basic facts. So two groups of 8 is 16. So 20 groups of 8 would give me 160. So 20 groups of 180 will give me 1,600. So my easy estimate is 1,600. Now that I have that easy estimate, I'm going to start by multiplying my digits in the ones place. Everything will be multiplied by four, starting in the ones and then in the tens. So let's get started. Four groups of eight is the number 32, so we'll write the 2 down and we'll carry the 3 to the very next place because we're going to be adding that number in after we multiply. So when I multiply 4 times 7, I'm going to get the number 28 and I'll add 3 more to that, so that'll be 29, 30, and 31. So 31 is what I'm going to write down. Now it's important to go ahead and cross this out so that you don't want to reuse that um, when you're multiplying again. And remember, now it is the number in the tens place. So this really has a value of 20, which is why we're going to put a zero here. We call that a placeholder, and um, that's to help hold this place so that when we multiply, it's much easier to think about 2 times something than 20 times something. So we're going to multiply 2 times 8 first, because the 8's in the 1's place. So 2 groups of 8 is 16. So write your 6 and carry your 1 to the very next place. And we have 2 groups of 4, with, I mean 2 groups of 7, which is 14, plus 1 more makes 15. So now what I have are my two partial products. I'm going to put those together and I get 2 and 7 and 8 and 1. And so my quick estimate was 1,600. My actual answer is 1,872. And I would say this is reasonable. This is a little bit higher than 78, but this is much lower than 24 which can account for the difference that we're seeing.